This is what Huawei can do, and it's so powerful that after a week of heavy experience, we can tell you in a minute that the Nex is really smooth, and it's definitely better than all the other Androids, and it's even better than Apple. But it's not just the animation that's silky smooth, it's also the performance of the backend that's so powerful that when you open up the multitasking interface, when you have a card running in the back end, no matter it's a game or a video, it's not just a pause screen, it's really real time playback. And even Apple can only do tight scrolling. It's not just a pause screen, it's really playing in real time. And even Apple can only do it with a tight scrolling pop-up screen, Huawei's way ahead of the game, not to mention the usual brightness adjustments, the animation with the change in brightness, and even a sense of damping which is a really great experience. And then we'll look at the apps. No, but after a few days of use, it's true that adverts have almost disappeared, but it's possible that it's just in beta and not yet open to interfaces. The clean page is nice, but